All right, <clears throat> so long, <clears throat> Mary's. Uh, what a blessing. She actually came up here and checked on the water last night. Uh, great lady to provide this. This is on her property and she allows hikers to come in here and use this uh, as a refuge, as a way to get water. Uh, thank you very much to Miss Mary. Uh, certainly, certainly appreciate <clears throat> everything everything she does uh mile marker 145.4 as you can see and uh we're headed out i want to get to paradise valley cafe and eat some decent food and uh go from there i know you can't really see anything that's all surrounded by mountains so i gotta go over those go over the cloud cover pretty chilly I've got my puffy on Let's see back this way reminds me a lot of the day I hiked in the Mount Laguna I don't think there's any major storm coming or anything I think it's just one day of just kind of cloud cover like this yeah that's what I'm hiking into so let's see if you can see this remember yesterday these were all uh, purple we were walking through a bunch of these that were purple like this, and today they're all uh, orange. Let's get down there. Just a bunch of them through this area. It's really pretty. A little over a mile and a half in from Mary's. Uh, clouds are starting to break a little bit, it looks like. And the uh, sun's starting to kind of come through. Made the climb up to the top of a big climb out of Mary's. Now working my way down the other side. So I sure appreciate the downs. I don't have to stop all the time and catch my breath. All right, I stopped here at the bottom of this hill. Um, about to go on a it's a, it's a 0.8 mile climb almost eight tenths of a mile up there it's pretty steep probably gonna take me a little while to get it done probably gonna be very slow but i stopped down here kind of take a little bit of a break um, got my tent fly out let it dry out stuffed it back in with my tent it was on the outside of my pack so i got everything organized back the way i like it uh, but yeah, just getting ready to, I think I'm going to put in uh, my audio book. I'm listening to Band of Brothers. I was before I left for the trip. So I think I'm going to put that in, uh, an earphone, and uh, try to power up this climb. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm making this climb up from down there where I dried out my tent, trying to catch my breath. But wind is cold. So I took my jacket off because I was sweating and now I'm cold. If I put it back on though, I'll probably get hot again. So, I don't know, it's up and down. <laughs> it's either super hot or it's cold. The first 10, 12 days of the trail, I think I was freezing all the time at night, all the time. I don't remember how many days it was, but uh, in those hot days and now it's pretty chilly Whew. some houses spread out across across the valley pretty cool places you know I just thought I'd pass that on kind of chilly at least we don't have the moisture coming in uh, every time that wind gust and hits me it gets cold all right quick update Clouds coming in over the top of the mountain right there. I don't know if you can see that across the way. But uh, right down there is the trail that just came up. This is, and there's the trail headed up. Just switchbacks up and down the side of this mountain. And it's pretty steep, steeper than normal. What I'm used to on the trail. 
kind of reminds me of those switchbacks we were climbing up out of that picnic area we stayed outside of Warner Springs see a lot of clouds coming in I'm probably gonna have to drop my pack and grab my jacket I don't know if you can see the trail way down there let's see yeah you can kind of see it up there that was the trail as it a little bit the side of the mountain when we came down to the bottom of that little ravine and then we've been switched back all up to here pretty pretty short sweet switchbacks and pretty steep looks like the trail is going to go here around and then uh, right back over there and you can see all right, I made it to the top of that climb and uh, I think anyway it was a tough climb it's leveled out now it's not too bad Walking on this ridge line for a long time now. The wind's just terrible. Just working through here pretty good. Not as bad as that day going into Scissors Crossing, but it's a cold wind. I asked somebody kind of way up this climb. Mm last big climb before Paradise Valley Cat the drop well it's not really a drop it's a little up and down going down to the Paradise Valley Cafe uh, looks like and then or the road from the road uh, from the trail meets the road and then you leave the trail and you go a mile down the road to, to the cafe uh, I was just thinking it sure would be nice if I got lucky enough to get a ride on that last mile be really sweet because that's not part of the trail it's just road from what I understand I'll have to look at it again but either way uh, just working my way up this mountain hoping it's not too much more just came over the top of this mountain and uh, I see the road down there Somewhere down there is that road to the cafe. And what some claim to be the best burger on the trail. But since I hadn't had a burger yet, it will definitely be the best burger I've had on the trail. Once I get down there, I probably won't video a whole lot. I gotta pick up my packet from the market, eat something, and then try to get a ride to Idlewild where Slim Jim has a room and offered me a bed because it's a two bed room. So I'm gonna take him up on that. And then he may be going to Palm Springs tomorrow to visit friends. And then I'm gonna, my plan is to go to the camp yard or campground and maybe spend two days at the campground. They have showers and just relaxing and I'm gonna to try to figure out what kind of good food I can eat has a lot more protein um, I've got to work I'm gonna work through through the through the food uh, so it's easier for me to get to uh, that I like food that I like the rice north sides are okay the potatoes are good but I've got to get some protein in there somehow one way or the other. 
so all that's going to be going on over the next few days i don't know i'm not going to carry around this camera on this mount like this uh, all through town and everything i'll probably carry it on a tripod in my pouch because I'll, I'll have that with me all the time so i'll probably have it and film some as i can but it won't be as much it's going to be a needed a uh, couple days off I think it's been I don't know how many days since Scissors Crossing since Julian where I actually had and I'm trying to eat the whole time well I just didn't eat very much while I was there to start with so uh, I mean a couple slices of pizza that's uncommon for me I can eat a whole pizza by myself <laughs> only had a couple slices and I ate that one breakfast there um, but I didn't even finish the pancakes like a pancake and a half so uh, I didn't even eat much in Julian so the mission for this one is to eat some good food especially protein too much further down it's nice when it's going downhill like this to the road all right good evening um it is april the 13th it is eight o'clock at night and this is the completion of day 21 um here with slim jim at the pine house lodge uh slim jim got this room he came in last night um uh, smoked me down the trail came in and got this room for tonight or last night and tonight and then invited me to come in and stay uh tonight so this is a room super cool place um it's got its own kitchen which is nice there's a little patio out there and then of course the bathroom uh, just goes to to speak to the generosity of the trail and the people you meet on the trail uh hiked uh 7.2 total miles today and that includes a one mile road walk from the trail head down to paradise valley cafe uh, where i enjoyed a a burger uh, which was really good and then i got a ride uh i was just about finishing up my um my burger when a lady came in and said uh uh, ask if anybody needed a ride to Idlewild. Otherwise, I was going to be waiting a couple hours. So I jumped on that opportunity and Miss Cindy, a trail angel here in the Idlewild area, uh, took me and another girl and she dropped me off here at the Pine Lodge um, where I hooked up with Slim Jim. And um, what a great blessing she was uh, to get that ride. Uh, she would not accept any type of donation. She just does it out of the kindness of her heart. Uh, and she came into the restaurant specifically asking any PCT hikers need a ride in the outer wood. And that's not a, it's, it's not like a 10 mile drive. It's how far is it? Do you know What's that? how far it is from Paradise Valley to, to uh, Ottawa? I think it's about 26 miles. Yeah, it's a, it's a good drive um, up here. But again, speaks to the kindness of the people in and around the trail that make up the trail. Uh, once we got here, um, Went and had uh, pizza pretty quick afterwards. We actually, I had a kazan, kazan uh, and a salad. So um, that was pretty good. And then we went over to another place, which was like a like a little uh, restaurant bar area. We thought a lot of hikers would be there because we wanted to get their ideas on uh, what their plans are for the next stage. And we hooked up with a, a lady named... Um, grasshopper mouse <laughs> and uh she had done part of the trail that leads from where i got off to the next section to a, to a junction and um i kind of think i might do that that might be my option going forward and then slim jim and silk are thinking about bouncing forward up to big bear um right now uh we don't have this room for tomorrow because there's some festival going on and we're not sure <laughs> we may be homeless tomorrow we don't know but the way it's worked everything's worked out for all of us 
So uh, my plan is to stay at the campground. Hopefully something will be open. I just don't know that yet. But if it's not, then uh, I'll figure something out. I'm, I, I've, I've got to go to Paradise Valley Cafe again because I left my hat there. And I have to have my hat um, just as a sun, sunshade. But so right now my plan is to a couple of days of rest and then go back to Paradise Valley Cafe or back to the to where the trail starts and then hike <clears throat> to this junction. I can't remember the name of it right now. Get back off trail there and get a ride back to Ottawa and then come up Black Mountain Road, which is an eight mile road walk, and then come down the other side back to the I ten freeway. That's that's probably the safest route, and it's I think it's a, the most accepted route if you're not going to take the challenging parts, which are covered in snow and blow down and pretty dangerous. <coughs> I think they already had a rescue up there of a hiker. So I'm not really interested in doing that. As you can tell, I still have this cough. I did get some medication here um, while I was in town, just picked it up. So took some NyQuil tonight. Hopefully that'll help as it kicks in. And then tomorrow I'm going to take some uh, stuff for my allergies, but blessed to be here with Slim Jim, my buddy. And uh, then we're just trying to figure things out and so things are changing constantly with the weather. Weather was really bad today, uh, but you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. So we're just gonna wait and see. And uh, I guess you'll have to stay tuned, see what goes on. Slim Jim, you have anything to add, brother? Nope, just keep on hacking down the trail. There you go, he said it right there. All right, so from what is that mile marker? 152 or something like that? Where we 150, got off? 151. 151 is where I got off the trail. I'm gonna, I'm crediting that mile, that road walk, because that sucked. To tell you the truth, I was hoping I'd get a ride, but there's a California Highway Patrol that was parked right there at the, at where the trail gets off. So I don't know if he was targeting people that would stop and pitch a, pick up, pick up riders, or, or hikers or not, but. It was a bad spot, bad timing for me. I didn't get a ride. I had to walk the whole way. Uh, some other girl came in 20 minutes later, and she got a ride. So, uh, But life is good, as that poster right there says. So from Pine Wood Lodge? Pine, uh, Silver Pine. Silver Pine Lodge in Idlewild, California. have not met the Merrimack yet, but I intend to try to do that tomorrow. And uh, I'll bring you along when I do that. Good night.